we're taking a look at another guild here. Um, and a guild is nothing but a community of plants that we've created. And so there's many ways to do this. Um, you don't have to use the specific plants I mentioned here, but these are just some ideas you can use. Um, in our guild here, our tallest layer is gonna be our fruit tree layer. So right here, it's a little bit smaller of a fruit tree. We've got a, a cherry tree right here. Uh, it's a smaller cherry tree. And then over here, we've got a plum over here. We've got pears over here. Um, and these are gonna be a little bit larger fruit trees, 12 to 16 feet. Underneath that, we've got a couple different shrubs. Uh, we've got the currant shrub, which I mentioned as a native plant that produces an edible berry. Also, we have uh, an aronia shrub, and some of the berries are dried up on here, but these produce a really tasty berry um, that's best if used uh, in, in uh, something you're making that you can add sugar to because it's a little bit bitter and astringent, but it's known to be one of the newer superfoods that's high in antioxidants. Uh, the aronia uh, is also a native shrub, and it's also used by a lot of commercial landscapers because it's... Um, got a beautiful form and, and beautiful texture to the shrub. Now one thing you'll notice is underneath all of this is we have a ground cover layer. We've got sweet potatoes growing down here. Now these are an annual that we plant every year and there's other things you can use for ground covers but we decided to use this here because not only is it uh, <clears throat> providing food through uh, sweet potatoes and you can also eat the leaves, you can cook them up like spinach, um, but this ground cover is, is creating a covering on the ground that keeps the moisture in the soil, it modifies temperature extremes, and it also keeps weeds down as well. Um, so a very important part of, of your food forest is creating a ground cover and not having a lot of exposed mulch. 